everyone, so we're in a different filming location today. I thought I'd try something different. Um, I don't know whether the light in here is a bit better, but we'll see. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed as well, but I am usually a glasses wearer, and I tend not to wear my glasses when I film, because they have, um, as you can see, like a reflective coating that makes everything green, so... It's okay if I keep my head in a set position, but as soon as I start moving around, you'll have to let me know if it's irritating. I'll, I'll keep them on for a minute and we'll see how it goes. But I am a glasses wearer, so I, you know, I wanted to be able to... Yay, glasses! Um, <laughs> so, it's the end of May. I can't believe it. I'm sure everyone is saying that's not very original, but um, I thought time flew before children. Having had a child, it just goes ridiculously quick. It's just a blur. Um, so, rather than call this my monthly favourites, there are products that I want to talk about that have really disappointed me. And rather than make a video which is just unbelievably negative and just full of bad products, which I think is a bit depressing, um, I thought I would incorporate it into my sort of monthly kind of roundup video thing this. Um, so I don't really know what to call this now because it's obviously not really my favourites. Um, so let's just go with maybe um, what a few other YouTubers call it. So the best and worst of beauty for this month. So I've got a few things laid out. Um, I'm not going to do them in any particular order I don't think. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. I do kind of feel like I want to start on a little bit of a negative. Um, just because I, I want to get it out of the way. Now, I've been using lots of different hair products lately. Excuse my hair today, I was being a bit experimental and, um, yeah, didn't, didn't really work out as planned. Um, <laughs> so the first thing I want to talk about is this. This is new, as it says. And it's the John Frieda Frizzies Unwind Curls Calming Cream. Now, before we get into my thoughts on this, let's read what it says, shall we? Loosens curls and fights frizz for salon perfect style. Uh, it, what it does, it calms and loosens curls for softer salon perfect style that lasts all day. How to use. Place a small amount of the cream, or creme, of, as they put, into palm. Rub hands together, work through wet or damp hair for a looser curl, finger comb or stretch curls whilst drying. I have no idea whose hair this would work on. It is that bad. And I was so excited when I read the description of this because basically I've had curly hair for ages and it's quite a frizzy mess most times. And, you know, some days you just want to have smooth and just you know maybe big wavy curls and just I don't know just not have your hair for a day basically and this the description of this really appealed to me it ticked a lot of boxes as to what I was trying to achieve and I've recently as mentioned in a previous video been getting on with John Frieda really well um, a few of their other products I've been using I've been really liking so when I saw this I thought the other stuff works great. Let's try this. Let me tell you about what this does, okay? It does absolutely nothing. No, in fact, it does worse than nothing. It just, I've, I've tried it on its own, and it's like I literally put nothing in my hair at all. I, you know, washed and put this in my hair. I dried it as usual, and I may as well have just not bothered putting this in at all, because it did absolutely nothing. Um, there was no definition, it was really frizzy, which, given the name, you'd expect it to at least combat that. So I thought, okay, maybe I've used it wrong, so I tried it again. Um, I've tried using more, I've tried using less. So, do they say how much to use? Place a small amount. A uh, small amount, what, what does that mean? Could you maybe equate it to, oh, I don't know, a coin or something like most people do. Um, if I'm coming across as angry it's because I am because I've wasted my money on this. 
I've tried combining it with other John Frieda products thinking maybe that will help and it's just not worked and I've got loads of this left and I hate it I think I'm gonna have to give it away because it's just crap frankly so sorry John Frieda not impressed with that oh, that feels a bit better I hope I've saved some of you some money there before you try that because it's pants I feel like I need to talk about something positive now I have made a new skincare discovery and I just absolutely love it. I've never really heard anything about this brand on YouTube with other people talking about it. So whether people just don't like it or I don't know. But I got two amazing deluxe size samples um, with an order from Beauty Bay and here they are. I don't know how to pronounce this name, so I'm about to embarrass myself. Mario... Mario... Badescu? Oh my god, that was cringeworthy. Um, anyway, that person. It's um, Glycolic Foaming Cleanser and Glycolic Acid Toner. Now, there's several cool things to mention about this, but the first of which, because I'm all about value for money, I know that these were free, but anyway, um, how much is in here? So one fluid ounce or 29 mil. I don't know if you can see, this is the foaming cleanser and I've still got that much left, which may not seem like a lot. And then the toner, yeah, you can probably see that actually, can't you? It's a little bit lower, it's down to there. These products arrived two weeks ago two weeks ago today in fact and on first usage of both I absolutely loved them I just I fell in love with them and I've used them every day twice a day for two weeks and I've still got some left I've not been stingy with it I you know the the foaming cleanser you hardly need anything of it really lathers up nicely um, the toner I probably haven't used exactly every day twice a day just purely because in the I've used it every morning but in the evening um, I alternate every other day with the alpha H glycolic acid so more glycolic acid but I think that's a stronger concentration um, so I alternate every evening um, but oh, I just it's funny because <clears throat> I only just said in a previous video about how I was dreading running out of my La Roche-Posay Effaclar, um, the clarifying um, toner, which you can only buy as part of their three-step system. You can't buy it on its own. It's a lovely toner. Um, but I think I've just found something to replace it, which I can buy on its own. And I think it's a very comparable price if you were able to buy it on its own. I think the toner price generally for the Roche-Posay is around £11 and I think this is, is an amount similar to that so that's great. Um, in terms of the foaming cleanser, oh, it smells really nice, um, it's, it's quite grapefruity, very fresh, it's a really nice cleanser to use in the morning and it just, like I said, it foams really well and you hardly need any, literally you squeeze out like a little strip like that along and that's enough, it foams up really nicely. I don't know if it says much on here. Deep clean pores and remove dulling build up with this herbal based exfoliating cleanser. Reveal a brighter and more refreshed complexion um, after just one use. I would totally agree with that. The first time I used this cleanser, I just kept touching my face saying to my husband my skin is so smooth it feels amazing it feels amazing I just I couldn't get over after just using it the once what a difference it made for oily and problematic skin uh, use two to three times weekly oh <laughs> I obviously didn't read this when I got it I just sort of went way well, hey! um, for oily and problematic skin, use two to three times weekly, and for normal or dry skin, use one to two times weekly. Massage gently onto wet skin in circular motions, avoiding eye area. 
rinse thoroughly with warm water and follow with the toner and moisturiser. Well I've certainly got the toner, um, I definitely would like to try the products um, from this company because um, from what I've read it's quite sort of natural-esque stuff compared to some of the real like chemically um, acne stuff that you can get. But the smell of this is lovely, it's like when you go um, to a nice hotel and they've got really nice samples in the bathroom. It's that kind of smell. It's like a really fresh, just fruity gorgeousness. But yeah, I guess I've probably been using that too much. Oh, active ingredients in this. Glycolic acid, yarrow extract, chamomile extract, St. John's wort extract and sage extract. So you can see, you know, the main focus there is on um, natural, naturally derived ingredients and that really appeals to me. And the fact that it has, you know, been so nice to use on my skin is a big plus. Um, in terms of the toner, active ingredients, aloe gel, grapefruit extract and glycolic acid. So you've got three ingredients in there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily smell the grapefruit. I, I would say that the face wash is much more grapefruity. This kind of just smells like old ladies. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of old ladies and powder and... Yeah, old ladies talcum powder. That's what that smells like. Anyway, I've rambled about that enough. So another product uh, that I want to talk about that I was really disappointed about is this one. And it's the Sally Hansen Miracle Cure Strengthener. Now, I've run out of my OPI Nail Envy. And um, I love that stuff. I've used it for years. Um, I have um, a condition that affects the health of my skin on my hands and my nails so I have to really carefully look after them and um, with Nail Envy it just it was a proper game changer um, and I've used it for years and I run out and I thought I was feeling a bit uh, I don't know a bit tight I guess I just didn't want to spend like nearly 20 pounds on a nail strengthener so I thought, yay, let's try this, because it's like half the price. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Now, like I said, I do suffer with a condition that affects my nails. So whether that had something to do with it, I don't know. But my nails have literally never done this before, what happened when I started using this. They peeled like, yeah, like I've never experienced before. Um, literally, I, I mean, my nails have never looked so crappy and actually no correction they have looked crappier when they all fell out but that's another story um in recent years they've never looked so bad they've got so many of them have peeled where like you just look down and you can see the top layer of the nail is starting to come away and i just can't leave it alone and i end up sort of pushing it and it peels off and that literally, I think, has happened to every single nail, other than my thumbnails, since using this. And I just thought, I've got to stop, I've got to stop using it, um, because... Um, oh, and another thing as well, it really peels as well. Um, I followed the directions, so shake gently, apply one thin coat to bare nails every other day. So similar, uh, similar instructions to the Nail Envy. And... I just found that as soon as my hands touched water um, or even just generally this stuff just started peeling off and I was ending up having to do my nails every night which as much as I would love to do that I just don't have the time to be able to dedicate doing that every single night and it just become a giant pain so seriously impressed with that so I then had to turn around and of course buy my beloved usual nail envy this is the original one um, and I when I first got this I wrote a raving review um, online for it because like I said I do have problems with my nails I have to look after them and since using this it's made a massive difference already and none of my nails have peeled so I'd, I don't know I don't know whether it's just me and my weird skin or what, but um, I love this stuff. I am so sorry that I didn't buy you again sooner. That just shows shows me, really, doesn't it? So this one is definitely going into my um, favourites this month. 
I don't know if I really need to talk about this that much because I feel like it's been around forever and people would know about it. But for those of you that don't, um, it's by OPI and like I said, this is the original formulation. You can buy it in a matte version, um, an extra strengthening version. I've only ever tried the matte one, which was weird. Um, I think they designed that one for men, perhaps, or people that don't want an obvious shine on their nails. Um, and this is just like it says, a nail strengthener, you put a coat on and then another coat on every other night for a week and then you remove it and start again. And um, I just, I can't say enough good things about this stuff really, it just works beautifully. Okay, so next I want to talk about another hair care product and this may make up for what I originally said about John Frieda a little bit because I do actually have a good product of theirs here. And I'm not sure if this is new, but it was new to me. And this is their Forever Smooth anti frizz Primer. Uh, works from inside and out. And what it says, what it does, this frizz fighting, this frizz fighting primer sets the foundation for long lasting, smooth, uniform style. The end result is immediate frizz elimination and smoother hair with every use. Apply to wet hair, dispense one pump into palm, distribute evenly throughout the hair from mid lengths to tips. Use more or less depending on hair length and thickness. Do not rinse out, and then style is desired. So, this is lovely. I kind of went on a bit of a John Frieda spree because they had an offer, I think it was in Superdrug 2 for a random amount of money, and um, I just sort of went like this and bought loads of stuff. And like I said, some of it has been a bit rubbish, most of it has been good. Um, and this, I thought, let's give this a go. And I don't know what it is that's in this, but it definitely does what it says it's going to do, which is nice for a change. Um, you can, it, you kind of pump it out and you just think, just looks like a face cream or something, you think, what's that going to do? But it does definitely just kind of, smooth everything out. I've not got it in my hair today um, and yeah it just takes all the frizzies out and you can use it under other John Frieda products to help um, smooth the style even more so really like that. Okay so I've got um, a couple more products to go and they're all kind of related so the first thing I want to mention is this and it's the Peter Thomas Roth Ultra Light Oil Free Moisturiser Moisturising Gel Lotion with Hyaluronic Acid, Azuline, Aloe Vera and Antioxidant Vitamins A and E for all skin types, especially normal to oily. Now, this was a total just stab in the dark for me with this one. Um, I've only ever used one Peter Thomas Roth product before and that's the pumpkin enzyme mask which I've mentioned a couple of times before in other videos which is just amazing stuff but it is a little bit expensive um, and I've just I feel like I've been on the quest to find the perfect moisturizer um, forever and um, I did the thing that I usually do when I see a product online that I'm interested by I went on YouTube to see if anyone was talking about it and no one was really talking about it um, which made me think oh okay maybe it's not that great um, but then I did see one lady talk about it and I, I can't remember who it was and um, she raved and raved and raved and raved about it so I thought okay let's just let's give it a go and just keep everything crossed and um, it, the only way that would make it like the perfect moisturiser for me is if it had SPF in it as well. Um, but it, it doesn't say that it does, so I'm guessing that it doesn't. Um, you get 50ml in this bottle. Um, and it says, for all skin types, especially normal to oily and acne prone skin, a unique ultralight oil free gel lotion moisturiser that leaves no stickiness or oily residue helps to soothe with azuline and aloe vera, rich with antioxidants, vitamins A and E, also recommended for normal to shiny skin which requires added moisture. Excellent relief for temporary dryness that accompanies acne treatment programs. 
uh, apply uh, to a cleansed face and neck alone or over a treatment product as needed. So certainly in regards to the claims that it makes, I would agree with. Um, it does help to control oil well. Um, I think I'm going through some kind of weird hormonal skin moment anyway because I seem to have gone a bit spotty crazy um, for some reason. Whether that's because I've changed a few things in my skincare routine and, and maybe my skin's just freaking out a little bit. But this goes on so nicely. Um, it's just... A little bit out onto my hand. It's just a nice little gel cream stuff which just disappears into the skin. It doesn't really smell. I'm not quite sure how to describe that. It's not offensive in any way. It's just like um, a very, very light, subtle, I suppose, yeah, like an aloe vera y kind of smell. But it just really sinks into the skin, feels like it's doing some good, is a really nice base for makeup. It does control oil quite well and because it's a gel it feels quite refreshing to put on your skin as well which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving that. It's, um, it's hopefully going to last a while because you get 50ml in there and I don't even need a full pump. A full pump is way too much, I would say probably half a pump is more than enough to do my whole face and my neck, so really happy with that. So the last few products that I've got are, <laughs> I don't know if this is cheating, I will buy these, but they're samples. Um, are these two babies? Um, and these were samples I got online. They are the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer, which I've got a little teeny tiny bit left of, maybe one, possibly two applications left. And then the Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I got in, I think it was Fair Beige. And I'm wearing both of them today. Um, I try not to use this too often because unfortunately, when I got the sample of the primer, I did not realise you couldn't buy it in this country. So I'm gonna have to place a Sephora order, I think. And yeah, um, okay. <laughs> so um, it's, lovely stuff i've done a first impressions video about it where i think i just gushed constantly i was very enthusiastic about these products um they're beautiful i love them the primer is amazing i've tried it under other foundations and it just makes everything glide on with such ease i tried a few days without using it and it just, just it just wasn't the same it just wasn't the same um, it helps control oil, it just helps everything you put on top of it just go on really nice and evenly and look perfect. And hey, I think that's probably what a primer's job is, but haven't we all tried loads that are crap, that don't do that. But this one's amazing, so I'm a bit gutted that I can't get it in this country, because I think it's only QVC that still sell tart stuff in the UK. Um, and I keep checking their website daily just to see if that changes and they add this product, but they haven't. And I don't have anything against placing a Sephora order. I would love to. It's just obviously quite a lot of money. So, yeah. Well, and if I'm going to do it, I may as well get lots of stuff. And, yeah. Oh. Oh, anyway. Um, and I'm still not 100% sure about the colour for the foundation so I think I might have to get another couple of samples just in different colours. I think in this light it does look okay. Sometimes when I initially put it on it just seems very pale but I'm a bit confused by their colours and I'm not quite sure what colour I would need to go up to next so I think I'm going to have to get a couple of samples. Um, but yeah this foundation is, is just lovely and I can't wait to get a full bottle of it so I can properly use it every day not just on special occasions and um really you know get a feel for it and if if it really does live up to potential holy grail status because when you only have a sample it's a bit difficult to give it a proper fair test but i like it enough to actually go and buy the full size put it that way um the last one i want to mention this month 
is my new Zoeva 104 buffing brush. Um, I've recently done a first impressions video of this. I continue to be blown away by it. It's everything I want a foundation brush to be. Um, I mentioned in my first impressions video that quite often you see people on YouTube applying foundation and they use all sorts of different kind of brushes and they're just kind of really buffing it and blending it into the skin. Um, I'm a big fan of Lisa Eldridge and she mentions all the time about, you know, to get a really nice natural level of coverage, how important it is to really buff products into the skin and I've just never been able to do that because either it's been a combination of the products that I use on my skin or the tools that I use um, to blend those products in but it, it's just never worked for me and it's so frustrating. I've seen people online use um, the brush that I used to use which is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush um, and I just I can't get the same results it just ends up streaky until I got this um, it's really fluffy super soft um, I just I think it's a better brush to blend foundation than the expert face brush because the bristles are a bit shorter and they don't move around so much whereas these you can really you know move it all around and it just helps to really create that seamless as seamless as I'm probably ever going to get because hey I'm, I'm no expert um, but as seamless a finish as you can and um, it's just beautiful and it's made me want to try lots of other Zoeva brushes now I've got birthday coming up in a couple of months so um, you know maybe I'll put that on a little list somewhere because um, I'd like to get some really decent eye brushes as well because I, I don't I, I just don't have any decent brushes they're all a bit rubbish um, I'm just sat here just stroking this brush, can't help it. I like the fact that it's nice and chunky and um, nice to hold. Um, I kind of wish that I bought the rose gold version. I think this comes in a couple of different colourways. The original one is black, um, there's this natural sort of bamboo and gold one, and then there's the rose gold one. They're all really beautiful, um, but I don't know, that rose gold one is just particularly nice. So yeah, it just really helps blend everything in and it just, it feels really nice to put products on. But you can see me using this in that first impressions video um, where I was just kind of chatting away whilst applying my makeup and not really concentrating on what I was doing and it was doing a lovely job. So super happy with that. So I think that just about covers it for May. I hope everyone's well and I will see you again soon. Bye.